I need to put a new crimp on connector on this wire. But before I do that, I want to clean it, make sure that I have a really good connection. So what I did is I took some uh, denatured alcohol and I'm wiping off the wire. Make sure that the terminal wire is the right size. Crimp on connector. This is a two through five L, sixteen to fourteen wire. Took a couple of minutes to dig out the crimper. Now I'm going to slip the end of the terminal over the wire. The end of that wire is a little screwed up where it was soldered. I'm going to clip that off. Now the wire terminal should go right on over and extend over the top of the insulation on the wire itself. Little dots, colored dots on the end of the crimpers determine which size ring terminal they'll crimp. There. That's repaired back where it should be. That's wire number one. If I look at my wiring diagram, wire number one goes down here on terminal five on the motor itself. I'm going to tuck that down in where it belongs just so nothing gets confused. I give that a little freedom to move. side of that wire, that side of that wire. Now it can tuck down in and out of the way. There we go. Over this wire I slipped a little piece of heat shrinkable tubing. And I'm going to take that up here. I'm going to put these other wires down out of the way. I'm going to warm that up. This kind of tubing you can shrink with a match, you can shrink with a propane torch, but I like a heat gun better. Just because I can control the amount of heat. Doesn't take much. That termination is nicely insulated and I'll tuck it back down over the post where it belongs, which is top right number six.
Okay, I'm getting ready to connect the wires to extend the motor wires. not to break them because they're very brittle. So I'm trimming off the sheath insulation, picking it apart because it doesn't want to slide off. It's gotten hot over the years because of poor connections and cause problems. Since the insulation is semi-melted, it's not wanting to cooperate. Having to pick it apart bit by bit. There we go. That got the most of it off. these little electronic nippers and see if I can't clip off the extra. Then put a little denatured alcohol on a rag. And wipe off the end of the wire. to solder this extension onto it. Then I'll slip a piece of heat shrink tube over the top of it. Reinforce that insulation. Now this one, I think I might be able to just unsolder it because they didn't screw up the terminal on it. I would just as soon not do any more damage than what's already been done. I don't need this much extension on it, but I can always trim it off later and saving a few inches of wire now might make it very difficult to finish the job later. So my goal is to make as solid a mechanical joint as I can before I solder it. The solder shouldn't be all of the joint. Solder does have a tremendous amount of holding power on a wire. But you really want to make it so that the wire itself is mechanically attached. That way when the solder flows into the joint it fills the wire and makes it a 
very, very strong terminal. You won't be able to pull it apart. Okay, I'm going to unsolder that, and then I'm going to replace the insulation below that ring terminal with a piece of heat shrink tubing. 